He always has been and likely always will. As he walks down the path to meet me, it's clear the UFC's middleweight champ is limping. Naturally, the mind of a journalist kicks in, a flare-up of an old injury, something new, or just sore from a day of training, no. Nothing that serious. His first pair of $50 plus dress shoes needed breaking in, and Whitaker was unaccustomed to the miserable process. Purchase UFC 225 via main event fight night Liverpool 226 You'd think a UFC champion, who earned a six-figure contract all the way back in 2012 after winning the Ultimate Fighter, would have had gone through this before. But that's the essential intrigue behind Whitaker, a singularly focused fighter, who hasn't allowed himself to be distracted by the extras that come with being a superstar. In a time where the elevator to UFC stardom has called for controversy and trash-talking, Whitaker has taken the stairs, it's because my overall objective isn't the title. Whitaker told FoxSports.com.au And that's not just PR spin. It's been the guiding principle of every decision he's made. As he prepares for a blockbuster rematch with Yoel Romero, which will headline UFC 225 in Chicago on June 10th, Whitaker is content with his preparation, the work's been done. If the work hasn't been done at this point, it's not getting done, simple. The idea of a fighter cramming in work on a particular skill to prepare for a specific opponent, a wrestler honing his stand-up, or a boxer learning to grapple, doesn't resonate with Whitaker. I want to increase my skill sets across the board, not just one aspect, said the Aussie, who recently earned his brown belt in jiu-jitsu, because as soon as I neglect one skill set, I'm going to get beaten with that skill set, and when you see the murderous row of opponents that Whitaker has had to overcome in the middleweight division, you start to understand his mindset, I've barely touched on where I'm going, source, Getty image you don't get past the likes of Derek Brunson, Jakar Souza, and Yoel Romero unless you're a complete fighter. Realistically though, Whitaker's rivals don't appear on his radar, they're stepping stones to reaching the best version of himself, part of the reason he's so readily accepted every challenge the UFC has thrown at him. But that best version is still a world away, I've barely touched on where I'm going, the 27-year-old explained, I don't think anyone has seen my peak potential, and I honestly don't see a ceiling yet. For Whitaker, it's never been about the belt, the money, or the man standing on the other side of the octagon, it's about creating a legacy. Whitaker said, it's about being the best fighter that I can be and aspiring to be the best fighter ever seen, and while those are big objectives, you'd be silly to question a guy who has made a habit of proving any, and every doubt are wrong. But it also means that the journey is far from over, I just need to train hard every single day, I need to fight harder. Whitaker explained, I need to continue on my path and my journey of balancing that with my family life, and being happy and enjoying it but ignoring championships, opponents and anything that is surplus to the nuts and bolts of becoming a better fighter, how do you know when you've reached your peak, I assume I'll just know. It'll reach a point where I am satisfied, described Whitaker. As he prepares to head out to Chicago this weekend to begin a process of acclimatization and tapering off before his first bout in a year, a setback free Whitaker will look to take another step towards the ultimate goal. And unfortunately for Romero and the rest of the middleweight division, there's going to be no slowing down. I'm nowhere near satisfied, declared the champ. I really believe it when I say it. I don't think I've scratched the surface of my potential.